I'm here today with Dr. Martin Santa Maria, who is going to teach the Econ 103 class, Principles of Microeconomics. Dr. Santa Maria is a lecturer in the Department of Economics at Simon Fraser University. So, Dr. Santa Maria, you're going to teach this class, uh, Econ 103. Can you tell us a little bit more what this class is about? Yes, uh, thank you for having me. Um, so in, in Econ 103, essentially uh, what we go through is trying to uh, introduce you to the basic way in which economists think about the world, uh, think about you know basic ideas of supply and demand, trying to understand why are uh, prices, you know, what they really are, how are prices determined, and um, you know, going a little bit deeper, trying to create an understanding of uh, how economies uh, think of, about the behavior. And so, uh, for example, we may think about the question of do seatbelts uh, make driving more dangerous? Do people drive more recklessly because they have seatbelts? And um, um, an example, you know, to, to help you, uh, you know, understand or, or, or kind of get a feeling for, for the type of ideas, Imagine if instead of a seatbelt, you would put a sharp knife at the steering wheel pointing at you. How would that affect people driving? People would probably drive very slowly because now driving has become very dangerous. And, and so this is some of the, the simple ideas we'd like to capture with the understanding that um, economics is a pervasive force in our lives and some basic understanding of the language of economics and the basic ideas is going to help you in your life uh, to navigate uh, the world, even if you decide not to uh, become an economics major in the future. Thank you. Now, uh, as we know, the teaching at SFU in the fall will be all taking place remotely. Can you let us know a little bit more about how you're going to structure your classes in this remote format? Yes. So my class will be structured as a mixture of pre-recorded lectures and uh, live synchronous lectures. I like to uh, have as much interaction with the students as possible, but sometimes during synchronous lectures, there may be some issue with the computers. It may be very late for some people uh, that are not in the country. And so um, I will do some pre-recorded lectures that you can watch at any time where I can explain the materials in a, in a kind of a simple, uh, more thorough way. And then I have synchronous sessions where I will essentially go over the same material but give you an opportunity to ask questions, give you an opportunity to interact. And so it will be a little bit of a mixture of the two. And um, we will need your, your help as students uh, in participating in those. And the more um, you, you, you help me by asking questions or participating, the more fun those will be. And it's, everything is up to us how much fun we want to make this. And so it's um, unusual circumstances really rely uh, on all of us to making the best out of the online environment. And so I humbly ask you for your help and support on that dimension. That is indeed very important. You're so right. It's an unusual situation that is asking all of us to think perhaps a little, little differently. Now, mm -hmm. your exams and your assignments in this course, will they take place as, a, as normally? Or how do you expect, how will students in fact compose the grade, so to speak? Yes, so the grade will be essentially done via a sequence of relatively uh, short online exams, uh, which um, you will be doing from, from home. and. Uh, I do like to, uh, you know, it's it's a little bit of an unusual situation once again, but I do believe that students are uh, honors people and I do will work with an honors code in which I uh, essentially will assume you are uh, people who have honor and if you give me your word that you will not cheat, you won't do so. And it will be a good exercise in, uh, in practicing that. That's what we want to see in the world. People have that kind of behavior and so um, we're going to work a little bit on that. There might be some uh, online tutoring, but uh, realistically, we're also going to count on your sense of honor in making this work for everybody. And now perhaps as, as a last question, students are very eager to understand uh, whether they can still connect with you. Will you still have office hours? Yes, that's a very good point. Thank you. Um, I often find the students uh, in higher division uh, underutilize my, my office hours. We have, me and the TAs will set up uh, particular times in which we can have one-to-one uh, -one Zoom calls or perhaps, uh, uh, you know, more, uh, more than one student simultaneously office hours. 
And if those times don't work for you, you can always send me an email and we can set up personal meetings. I like meeting one-to-one -one with students. I set up an, an extra, uh, you know, in my schedule, extra time for doing that. And I ask TAs to do the same. And students sometimes feel shy about that. Uh, don't underutilize that resource. Uh, we will give you our time and our attention, but you gotta show up and ask for it. So um, <clears throat> once again, we can only meet you halfway. We will ask you um, to do the other half and, and show up to office hours, please. <laughs> <laughs> now, perhaps uh, in, in closing, is there anything that you would like to tell a student? Many students, this will be their first econ course, perhaps, at, at the mm -hmm. university. And um, what would you tell them? How can they succeed in your class? So I always make this analogy, uh, learning economics is a little bit like learning a language. A lot of it is learning terminology and, 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 and it's not really that hard, but these terms are gonna help you a lot in your life. My favorite analogy is the analogy of learning how to play a musical instrument. <laughs> if you wanna learn how to play the guitar, you have to pick up a guitar and play. At the beginning, it's not gonna sound so great, but you keep playing and you will get better. Now, you cannot learn how to play the guitar by watching videos of somebody else playing the guitar. You have to pick up the guitar yourself. So we will be there, we will during the lectures, uh, introduce you to the ideas and, and the TAs will be there to help you, but you need to uh, do practice and practice and practice in the forms of exercises and problems that we will give you. And so a big part of this course is you doing economics by yourself, by thinking about issues, by doing the exercises and thinking about them. And so there's no replacement for practice when it comes to learning economics or anything for that matter, but in this case, economics.